In our previous class, we had seen how to select all the details from the database with the help of select query. Now we will write a filter criteria wherein we will pass the value of an employee in a bind variable and we will retrieve only a details for a specific person. Now let us see how we can do that in integration. I am here in the SQL developer. Let me first create a SQL query over here. Select start from employee underscore details. Let me first run this. And I will put the bind variable over here where emp id is equal to colon id. Now let me run this query. ID I am populating as 2 and click on apply. Now I am getting the details only for Mike that is whose employee ID is 2. Let me copy this query from here. Go to my Oracle integration instance. Let me clone this integration. Here select with bind variable and will name it as. Click on clone. Click on edit. I did this database configuration. Click on next. Here we have to paste our query. Instead of colon, we have to provide hash. Click on validate SQL query. It's success. Click on next and done. Update the mapper. Edit this mapper. Now in this time we need to pass the value in the bind variable. So for that case, I'm passing id what we pass in the first iteration of employee. I will map it over here. Click on validate. Done. Close. Close the integration. Let me activate this integration and we will test this integration. Go to body. We will have only one iteration of employee. Also we will remove this salary and name it's not required in id i will pass two and click on test yeah we are getting details only for mike whose employee id is two let me change this to one click on test we are getting details for bill whose employee id is one like this we can have bind variable and retrieve the data with the help of sql query with the help of atp database or any database in integration only thing is bind variable should be having this hash instead of colon that we need to take care.